Hello everyone, this is Lucas with N2B Solutions. Today we're going to show you how to set up a Grandstream uh, soft phone, the GS Wave app, um, on your cell phone and connect it to your phone system. These can be used uh, locally in your office, connected to the phone system on site, or you can do it remotely and connect your soft phone to your phone system um, using the firewall. Having said that, you have to set up your, your firewall rules and, and things like that to make a phone work um, separately from this video. So I'm not going to go through how to set up your firewall. That's a completely different issue. So this is just for the GS Wave app. So let's take a look at what we got. We've got a grand stream phone system. This is my test system. I created an extension called test just to show you what that looks like. It's got national permissions. It's got a SIP password, no voicemail. I enabled Keep Alive, gave myself a name, gave myself uh, my email address has been entered in there. The concurrent registrations, I set it to 10. You can set that to whatever you want, as long as it's uh, at least one. So if this is the only device that's going to make that registration, then you can set it to one. If you're going to have multiple registrations, you need to increase that number. So if you have a desk phone, along with your cell phone and maybe a, a tablet that has it, you need to have multiple registrations. Once you've got all that set up, you click on the checkbox next to the extension you want to send to somebody and you email a notification. Um, and it's going to send critical data to that person. So be sure you've got the email right. Be sure you want them to have this, this password information. If the information in this email gets out, it's going to affect that registration. It's a, it's a security issue. So be sure that you're sending it to the right person. Um, when you hit OK, it will send the email. I've already done this, so I'm going to just pull up the email. This is what the email looks like. Um, at the start, it goes through your SIP account information. You can use these settings to register to the UCM. You can use the QR code to get it into your phone, or you can enter the credentials manually. So in this case, if I'm local on the network that the phone system's on, I use this address. But if I'm outside the network, I use this address. But again, you have to have your firewall rules set up correctly for this one to work. It's got my name, my user ID and authenticate ID are both my extension. Um, the password that was in my account is now here. This is why this is a security issue. Do not just send these all out to anyone willy-nilly. <laughs> That's a funny word. All right, so having said that, it comes with two QR codes. Um, if you have a LAN address, a WAN address, and a public address, it'll come with three QR codes. Um, and you can set up any one of them using the QR code. It'll also set up the LDAP configur configuration if you have one via QR code or credentials. And all that's given out in this email as well. So make sure these emails are going to the people you want them to go to and that they can be trusted with this information. Um, all right, so I'm going to pause this video. We're going to set up on another screen so you can see what the QR part looks like. All right, so if you can ignore the wobbliness, I'm actually holding my webcam and pointing it at my laptop so you can see what I'm seeing. This is my cell phone with the GS Wave app installed. Um, if I go to account settings, this is where you set up your extension. Now, I already punched in the QR code for my local address. If I wanted to set up both, one for local and one for public, I can do that. To set up either one, you hit the plus sign to add a new account. Once you hit the plus sign, you get options. UCM account, QR code, or select a QR image that isn't a UCM account, or, or whatever. Um, if you had an image, like if you saved the email to your phone, you could use the, the QR code image, that's what that means. And the QR code scan works like this. You press it and it's looking for a QR code. Now in this case, I'm gonna set up the public address. So I'm gonna choose the bottom QR code. And it's that simple. Now I can overwrite my local one that I've already created or I can add a new one. In this case, I'm gonna add a new one. Because I'm local, it won't register to the public one because I'm already inside the network. And my private, my local one, is green and registered. So if I leave the network and go out to my home network, as long as my firewall settings are set up correctly, 
the local one will go red and the public one will go green. Either way, I should be able to place a call and get a call out if everything's working. I didn't actually test if it's working or not. But the setup of the phone is pretty straightforward. What's your summer job earning from the right checking account at Merchants Bank? Open your account today and get free on the Time and 10. So it's as simple as that. Um, this is now a working phone and I got got to it through the uh, through the QR code and the GS Wave app. All right, we're going to switch back. Now that I've showed you how simple it is to use the QR code to set up your phone, you can also set up your phone using the credentials in the email and punch everything in manually. So let's see if I can make this scene. So there's my two accounts that we just set up. And you click on the account you want, and you can actually edit the account. And it will give you access to all of those same settings, the account name, SIP server, SIP user ID, SIP authenticate ID, uh, password, voicemail, and the name. And you can enter in all that information manually, and it should work just the same. Now, there are, again, like I said, lots of issues that come with using a soft phone as your primary phone based on the network you have and, and where you are. If you're constantly traveling um, and you're in const constantly on different private networks of different people, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Um, sometimes they have things that block your, your calls and stuff like that, and there's nothing Grandstream or anybody like me can do about that. Um, but if you work from home and you have a secure network at your home that, that you have control over, there's no reason you can't set up a soft phone to work every single time um, without issues. So having said all that, if you need any assistance, please look us up at n2vs.com or give us a call. And we'd be happy to help you out with things, uh, whether it's uh, Grandstream based or not. Anything VoIP or, uh, or SIP related, we can help you with. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.